All right, guys, today we're going to talk about three survival items you should always have on you. Now, of course, within reason, there is some minutia to it. Maybe you need to have certain tools for certain environments or temperatures, but by and large, these are three tools that can handle just about everything and also are the hardest to replicate. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first one off, of course, has to be a knife. Now a knife is essentially a jack of all trades, master of none, but especially something like this CRK Pacific is going to be a good bridge between doing the larger tasks that are most important and most critical in short-term survival. So your things like firecraft, sheltercraft are going to be the highest importance. Things like food and water are not actually that important for the first 48 hours, which is the most critical time in uh, survival situations, especially as we shift our focus to getting rescued, getting out of the wilderness, not trying to, you know, live forever in the wild, right? So the knife is going to help the most with those things, and not only that, it's going to be the most reasonably man-portable tool. Now, the next one up was actually already on the sheath, and the next part is a ferrocerium rod. Now, ferro rods are one of those things that are a little contentious for me because ferro rods aren't necessarily needed for survival. There are many ways to start a fire, but the biggest point and the reason why I stress ferrocerium rods is one, as you can see, it's super man portable, super easy to carry, and when you practice with them, they are actually very, very effective. And on top of all of those pros to the ferrocerium rod, the other thing is that that when it comes down to it, fire is one of the most important urgent survival things. So in an emergent survival situation, having the ability to make fire is extremely important. So while there are other things like the bow drill method or other tools and options that you can carry, um, the ferrocerium rod just ends up being a really good bridge to, or bridging that gap very, very well. And so that's why it is number two. It's just a higher level of priority um, making fires. And once again, this may not be the most, or mo may not seem like the most important thing, um, given you know a really good sunny 70 degree day in the summer. But when it when your chips are down and it's a pouring, like absolute downpour, and you're beginning to freeze, that's when being able to have a fire becomes the most critical thing. All right, last one up is going to be some form of a bottle, pot, or in this case, a bot, which is a bottle and a pot at the same time, which is great. But for me, the Vargo Titanium Bot is the next one up on the list because once again, having things like watertight containers for purifying water, being able to make things like coffee or tea, um, you know, just being able to do those little things that are very nice in life, you know, quality of life things. Um, the, having a watertight container is really important and very valuable in those types of situations. So this Vargo titanium bot for me is what really does that the best. And so I think in the end of ends, um, it's not the most important tool to have and that's why it's placed the last. And of course too, you want to keep in mind, uh, like other people have mentioned, and as I've mentioned in many, many other videos, that you know when it comes down to survival, the highest priority is getting rescued. So having a water tight container is great, but also having things like a personal locator beacon, having some light shelter equipment. And that's where if you guys haven't already checked out my um, personal survival kit video where I'm going over everything in my PSK, I would take my PSK over just about any given tool because my PSK is really focused on once again, trying to meet those immediate needs of fire and shelter, but also to trying to to fix or to uh, facilitate that immediate need of rescue because in survival in the proper form of survival like if you're going out truly or you're building a survival kit it's not how long can i live in the wilderness it's how fast can i get rescued and so i think with a lot of um, survival kits and survival priorities that people outline on the youtubes and in classes and whatnot they put a higher emphasis on you know well you need this type of equipment to live for 72 or 
you know, plus hours out in the wilderness. And the reality is, you know, what you really want to focus on is not so much how long can you live, but how fast you can get rescued. And so once again, these are broadly speaking tools that you can carry things like the ferro rod, the knife, the uh, <clears throat> watertight storage that are going to be able to help you facilitate life until that rescue happens. But make sure by all means that you're out there carrying things like a personal locator beacon, like a GPS, things that you can use to affect your survival or rescue ultimately, because that is the biggest thing is really, we almost have to kind of rephrase the paradigm of survival to rescue. So like the end goal isn't to live forever, it's to get rescued. Anyways, I feel like I've been repeating myself a lot on that one, but it is very important, very crucial. And that idea or that mindset is more crucial than any given tool or piece of equipment you can carry. Anyways, guys, as always, God bless, and I'm out.